Welcome to our daily rosary meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. So we reflected on the Sermon on the Mount, and Jesus concludes his greatest teaching by telling us that it's useless if we listen to his words, but if we don't live them. Jesus said, and this is the very last thing in the Sermon on the Mount. This is the way he ends the Sermon on the Mount. It is not those who say to me, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the person who does the will of my Father in heaven. When the judgment day comes, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, cast out demons in your name, work many miracles in your name? Then I shall tell them to their faces, I have never known you. Away from me, you evil men. Therefore, everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house on rock. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew and hurled themselves against that house, and it did not fall because it was founded on rock. But everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a stupid man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the floods rose, the gales blew and struck that house, and it fell, and what a fall it had. Jesus is very clear. We can listen to everything he has to say, and we can call ourselves Christian, but if we don't live what he said, we don't have faith. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. It's not enough to simply accept the content of faith as true. I could know everything in the Catechism, but if I didn't live it, then I don't have faith. James chapter 2 tells us, You believe in the one God? That's good. 
but the demons have the same belief, and they're in hell. Faith must transform our whole life. When someone claims to be a Christian, to believe in Jesus, but not live the teachings of Jesus, they're living in denial. If we don't actively incorporate what Jesus said into everything we do, well, that is a sign that our faith is dead. Faith only lives insofar as it changes our life. We've been meditating on the Sermon on the Mount. It's very challenging, and I'm a very weak human. But I want to live it, and I know you want to live it as well. We just have to say, Jesus, I can't do this on my own, but you can. Jesus, I surrender to you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Again, Jesus said, It is not those who say to me, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the person who does the will of my Father in heaven. Now, here's the dangerous part. It's really good to pray the rosary, and it's really good to learn while we're praying the rosary, to learn what Jesus teaches. But it's really bad if we don't put it into practice, if we don't live it. Now, here's the key. If we would end every rosary and every meditation with a simple, practical, concrete resolution to put into practice what we meditated upon, then we would live our faith and we would be transformed. If we practice a resolution flowing from our meditation every day, we will change and become a better person. What would happen to a person if they would commit to this rosary podcast, learning their faith, and every day, have a simple, concrete way to live it out. What would happen to them, Teresa, do you think, after six months? Well, hopefully they'd be a little tolerable. 
I'm more tolerable. <laughs> what would happen to them after a year? Maybe even likable. Maybe likable. This is a, we're, we're moving in the right direction. How about after, what if they would do it every day for five years? You could maybe say they're a good person. Okay, now at 10 years. A great person. 20. A saint. Yeah. But what will happen if they never practice a resolution? Mm. Not only will they not change. They'll be convinced that they are changing. And then they'll be in spiritual pride. And worse, if we're not actively practicing virtue, we'll backslide in vice and we'll get worse. Yeah. And become unreachable. And become unreachable. At the end of every rosary, every meditation we do, there should be, we should choose something practical and concrete to remember and to do. Something simple like, I'm going to try not to gossip today, or I'm, I'm not going to complain today, or when I'm anxious, when I notice I'm anxious, I'll replace it with the phrase, Jesus, I trust in you. Something simple, but it makes all the difference. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. If we practice a resolution every day flowing from our meditation, then we will have a faith that's really alive and it will lead to a faith that has the expectation that God will work wonders. Mother Teresa had this kind of faith. In 1982, the Israeli Air Force carried out daily bombing raids on Beirut, Lebanon in its efforts to weaken Lebanon and gain more control of the Golan Heights. During these raids, 36 disabled children had been abandoned in a hospital in West Beirut that was heavily damaged. Mother Teresa heard about this and flew from India to rescue the children. She met with a number of military officers and politicians in Lebanon and asked for a fleet of Red Cross trucks to go and pick up the children tomorrow. Well, the U.S. ambassador reported, this is impossible. We need a ceasefire first. 
and there is no chance it will come tomorrow. Oh, but I have been praying to Our Lady, Mother Teresa said confidently, and I have asked her to let us have a ceasefire here tomorrow. Well, the ambassador was taken aback, and he stared incredulously at Mother Teresa and said, Mother, I believe in prayer, but don't you think that the time limit is a little, well, you know, short? Oh, no, Mother Teresa responded. I am certain we will have the ceasefire tomorrow. Trying in vain to conceal his skepticism, he placated her. Mother, if we have a ceasefire, I will personally make the arrangements to see that you go to West Beirut tomorrow. Mother Teresa's response was simply, then we shall pray. Mother Teresa went and pulled an all-nighter in prayer in the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. And to everyone's surprise, except for Mother Teresa, a ceased fire was declared early the next morning at sunrise. And you can watch for yourselves on YouTube the convoy of Red Cross trucks carrying those children to safety and a big smile on Mother Teresa's face. That's expectant faith. That's the faith that flows from a daily resolution in meditation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Now, no matter how much I want another person to have faith, no matter how much I want them to live their faith, I can't make them do it. I can't generate faith in somebody else. Only Jesus can. Only the encounter with Jesus has the power to give someone faith. But that doesn't mean we have nothing to do. We have a necessary role to play. It's our job to help people encounter Jesus. And it's our job to prepare the way, kind of like John the Baptist prepared the way for Jesus. That's our role. And how do we do it? By being missionaries of friendship with our family and with our friends. We help to prepare the way by praying for 
the faith, the conversion of our loved ones, and by offering sacrifice for them, but also, and more importantly, by sharing life with them and delighting in all that is good in them, by learning the art of being genuinely interested in them, of asking good questions and follow-up questions to get people thinking about the most important things in life. And then when we see a hunger for God arise in their heart, invite them to encounter Jesus. Invite them to pray. Teach them how to pray. Invite them to pray with you, to pray the rosary with you. Share the rosary podcast with them. You can't make another person have faith. But through friendship, there is much that we must do. St. Francis of Assisi said, through friendship, learn faith. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Teresa, what were you reflecting on? That was a really good meditation. So there's a couple of things. I, I think from that earlier part in the meditation, that very first point, immediately I was just struck in a unique way by the words, I have not known you. Because I feel like that's such a core of prayer that I haven't been thinking about. I think so much about action mm. or uh, theology more than I think about getting to know God and letting God get to know me wow. in, in the way that friends that do, where that takes a different level of effort. Yeah. Where it can't just be following uh, faith as if it's like a science. Like if I replicate this experiment, then I get the results I want. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's really about knowing God and being known by him. And I feel like that's a good resolution for me. That's kind of my takeaway for today of trying to think of life more like that and spending more time like that because I feel like I've been really missing out on that. Being more more personal. 
I totally agree. Practically, what can you do to make your prayer in your life more personal with Jesus? I actually think for one thing, I can be more silent. Mm -hmm. When? Uh, hmm? When? In meditation. Not just... So, granted, so you're going to quit praying this week? Yeah, I think I'm going to... I'm just tired of praying. <laughs> Sick and tired of this. <laughs> I just want to shut up. You're just looking for a way out? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to think next time you ask me the question, I'm just going to go dead, dead silent. <laughs> <laughs> but you've, you've, you've just hit on where I hope this goes for everyone. Mm -hmm. That Our Lady has asked us all to pray the rosary every day. But she wants us to go further and to spend some time in silence mm -hmm. with her son. But I think this is just more personal of me unraveling this thread and learning a bit about myself. I think that partially comes from, I've realized recently that in every relationship, everyone kind of has different ways in which they feel the most seen and they engage the best. And for me, I love talking to people about concepts mm. or theology and that sort of thing. Uh, but everyone has different things. Uh, I, I was recently talking with a friend and they were like, oh, I just want to know about your feelings and your thoughts and your experiences and your history, where you came from, your family life, your spiritual life right now. And I am the kind of person who just wants to sit down and I want to know that for context about someone, but then I just want to discuss... What do you think is right and wrong in this situation? Uh, what do you think about this concept, you know? And I want to sort of work through that. So it makes sense to me why that has been my relationship with God. Hmm. Because that's, I didn't know you were so analytic. I'm very, I <laughs> love when we can just sit down and try to figure out the world together, you yeah. know? So that's, oh, I don't think. Oh, figure out the world together. You Are you not letting him figure out you? <laughs> well, it's, this is what. My first assumption was when I realized that she thought that way and I didn't, yeah. was how do I explain to her that I don't think this is because I feel so defensive and I don't want anyone to know me. Oh. It's that this is genuinely how I think on the inside. Mm -hmm. This is how I think of my own feelings and this is mm. how I think of my own experiences, hmm. very conceptually. How do you want to flip it with Jesus? To do a little more of both. I think... I think I'm a little okay with the fact that that is just part of who I am. Yeah, and that's good. Uh, but when I say sitting in silence, that's where I'm more relational oh. of being a little more, I don't want to say emotional about it. But but are you saying that you, you have the desire to share your feelings with Jesus? Sure. <laughs> it's so hard to say because I feel like I express or experience my feelings in a very analytical way. <laughs> uh, I have found it personally very powerful when I first thing I do when I sit down in prayer and I actually have a, a note a notepad right there and I just say, Jesus, I feel mm -hmm. X. I feel tired. I feel crappy. Mm, I think actually my what I think would fit me best, and I say this because I think Anyone who's listening should find, should learn more about themselves and learn how, what, what they're lacking uh, and how they should approach that with God. But I think this is why I loved reading He and I by Gabrielle mm. de Bosis. Oh, yeah, I love because that. Because I think that fills what I lack, which is the more relational, uh, referring to God as you. Yeah. And not just, uh, I'm speaking of God, but speaking to God. I love that book. And she's really good about, obviously, it's just her conversations with God. So they're very quiet moments that you would have, uh, say, say with friends, you have sometimes when you are going to have really deep, complex conversations. And then sometimes you're just catching up or sometimes you're just living a mundane, beautiful life together. And that's what I think I lack with God. Hmm. Yeah, I love he and I. Gabriel Bosis. Mm -hmm. Do you have my copy? I think I have three copies. I think I've started to hoard copies of that I want book. my copy. You can have one. <laughs> uh, but I do recommend it to everyone because she just has 
throughout her entire or through a good portion of her life this beautiful simple relationship with god where you can really say she she knows him and he knows her that's what we all want that's what we all want but secondly not to start a whole second complex conversation i was just struck by mother Teresa going so far for children that she heard about because yeah she flew from what, india what it says to those children is they might wonder why i don't know you i you you have nothing to do with me why should it matter so much to you that i'm saved that i'm okay but in doing that and doing actions like that she's saying this is how much you are worth. Yeah. Not because you are worth something to me personally, not because I know you, but because you are simply worth that. Yeah. And I think that's something kind of writing on the back of a, a previous meditation we've done on giving, going the extra mile for people, giving more than we're expected to people. It's because it says that to that person. It teaches them about their value, not their value to us and what they can do to, for us, but just their innate value as children of God. Well, if we really want our family and friends to have faith, then we will go the extra mile for them. Mm -hmm. And then they'll experience the love of God. Yeah. And then maybe they'll open up to faith. And that's how we get to know God and it's how they get to know God. Yeah. Yeah, that's the power of true friendship. Thank you. Thank you. Let's be apostles of friendship. Good conversation and the rosary. Share this with others. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.